Hi everyone, welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave. I'm Bailey. And today we are going to see what difference barrel length makes in uh, otherwise equal rifles. I have a Savage Model 340E in 223 Remington. Uh, it's got, I measured from the end of the barrel to the barrel nut, and it uh, 20, measures 22 inches there, and uh, has a 1 and 12 twist barrel. Bailey has his Savage Axis, also in 223 Remington. I measured from the length end of the barrel to the barrel nut on his, and it was 20 and a half inches. So should be, you know, basically that says that my rifle has about an inch and a half longer barrel. So uh, we'll set up our gel blocks and each take a shot at it. Uh, we're going to sh be shooting from about 25 yards away, and we're going to be using... Um, Winchester 55 grain pointed soft points for both rifles so that it's an equal test. We'll start out with the axis first and we'll try to put a shot in on that near side of the block and uh, get a capture in it and then we'll follow up. Excellent. Perfect hit, dead center on the left hand side. And it's still in the block. Alright. Next shot will be with the uh, model 340. And uh, I'll try to put that on the right hand side. And we can compare uh, penetration and so forth. Good hit. The uh, Savage Axis had the 20 and a half inch barrel. It's got a one and nine twist. The 340 has a 22 inch barrel, and it has a one and 12 twist. Uh, I assume longer barrel. It was going to give a little more snap and uh, get more penetration. Uh, turns out I expected the wrong thing. The Savage Axis got 12 inches of penetration. The 340 got about 11 and a half. <coughs> it could possibly be slight differences in the gel blocks, but it should be pretty uniform. It was all cooked up at the same time. Basically, no difference in the fired projectiles. This is the Savage Axis. This is the 340. Uh, they both mushroomed right out, opened right back. Uh, they didn't, they lost a lot of weight. They shed a lot of lead in there when the jacket opened back. It basically just held the the uh, base of the bullet in the, in the copper jacket. Uh, very little difference in the two bullets. But anyway, uh, they both did what they were supposed to do. They're both basically a varmint bullet, just a pointed soft point rather than hollow point. And really very close, 11 and a half to 12 inches. So uh, who knows what could have made the difference. Well, to say that I was uh, kind of surprised by the outcome of that test would be an understatement. I really expected that the longer barrel would equal more penetration. Uh, in this case, it didn't for whatever reason, whatever small variable uh, change that up I don't know um, one thing it could be the twist rate of the barrel or uh, Bailey was firing from a clean barrel and mine had had one shot in it through it before that before the shoot so possibly that may have caused the issue uh, who knows could be just you know the way the ballistic God smiled on us today uh, anyway I hope you found the video interesting um, like Subscribe, share, and have a great day.